Hello, Fernanda, how are you? I'm really good, and you? I'm very fine. I am uh, really, really happy that uh, you have accepted my invitation to the Four Steps Coffee Talk that we have today. And I am very happy that basically through, through this uh, little show, through this little um, coffee talk, I am traveling around the world. So in the first episodes, <laughs> I was in Singapore, I was in uh, the Americas, and now uh, we are building a bridge <laughs> over, the, yeah. over the ocean, uh, and we are connecting London and Mexico City, and I am very happy for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, for, uh, for our viewers, I would like to uh, do a small introduction. So this is the Four Steps Coffee Talk, in which I am inviting my colleagues from Sedona College of International Management, where I have went to study the uh, modules on um, innovation and also on leadership. And when I was there to study innovation last year, in 2019, it was the moment when uh, I, met Fer I met Fernanda. And uh, from what I know, and I don't know a lot about Fernanda, Fernanda is going to tell us more about her in, uh, this, uh, in this show. She is uh, also an organizer for Diamond Cutter Institute events in Mexico, right? Yes. <laughs> We have a little time lag <laughs> over the ocean. Um, and uh, what I know about uh, her organization skills is the fact that the public talk that her and her team and her colleagues have organized last year in 2019 was probably the biggest one, the biggest public talk in the history of DCI. Is that true? I think level one, the first first event. The first event, yes, yeah, so level one. How many participants did you have? It was around 800. 800, that's amazing. So mm -hmm. when, uh, when I was at the Diamond Cutter Institute events around the world, I was in Berlin, there were 200 or 300. I was in Bucharest, about the same two or 300 in Vienna. Um, about 200, I believe. I'm not very good with uh, counting people, <laughs> but uh, 800, that's absolutely amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Um, okay, so the main reason for which I am inviting my colleagues from Sedona College of International Management is to get a piece of inspiration on how to use the seed system or the diamond cutter system uh, which is using a very particular and uh, easy to use method to get what you want in your life. So this is the, in a nutshell, <laughs> the, um, the main uh, topic uh, of today's uh, coffee talk. And I would like, uh, Fernanda, to ask you first, how did you come in contact with the diamond cutter system and how it, it, it has changed your life? Okay, I remember the first time I was in contact with this information. It was with the Karma of Love book. Mm -hmm. It's a book that talks about relationships. And I remember I went to a seminar. It was something else. It was like a leadership seminar or another speaker but at the at the end they were selling the books and i was in a really bad relationship i was depressed sad not feeling good having a lot of fighting discussion and so that book uh, called my attention and i asked the girl like how's that book and she told me like oh it's really good you should get it so i i, I bought it and i went to holidays with my family so i read the book in like two days it was so amazing like oh my god this is so good like i couldn't stop reading i was like just reading it all and i came to realize a lot of things it was like my my brain was exploding for so many many good information 
but this, this does not work if you only know it. You have to practice. So I decided like, okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try this system to see if it works. And I did, and I started to change my behavior and my, my way of being with my mother. Mm -hmm. And my partner changed with me. So I, I thought like, this really works. Like he was not nice uh, anymore. He was not kind anymore. And then I'm just being kind with my mother. And then my relationship is again fine and he's loving and caring. So I really thought like, okay, this system really works. <laughs> and I think it has changed my life in so many ways. Like I'm, a lot more happier. I have better relationships with my partner, family, friends, co-workers, with all the people around me. I have better finances, more health, uh, more peace of mind. I feel a lot, a lot more happier than I used to. So I think my life really, really changed since I know and apply this wisdom into my life. Absolutely great. When did you meet this? Uh, wh when did you get the book? In which year? It was around 2014. Okay. And how fast did you see changes by applying uh, what you learned from the book? I believe it was really fast. Like, I even couldn't believe it. Like, I was about to break up with this boy, and then I just read the book. I was I started to be nicer with my mother and then we stayed together like for four more years or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really fast and really impressive for me. <laughs> okay, okay, that's cool. Uh, can you share with us one of the biggest successes that you have achieved by using the seed system? Okay, so um, I thought of two things, but I will share the first one. Mm -hmm. La, uh, three years ago, I was struggling with, with weight. Like, and I was trying like, you know, everything, diets and massages and pills and, and nothing seemed to work. But then I thought, well, if I can use this system for getting a contract or getting a, a project done, or a relationship, why cannot use it for my weight and my health? So I decided like to do my first, do a plan like, okay, my plan is to lose 15 kilograms. And then I decided uh, to help someone else. So I chose one of my friends that she also wanted to lose some weight and we made a plan. And we were going for walks and runs together going for lunch and I was like eating healthy lunch and we were helping each other in this and uh, step number four which is the most important is to be happy about helping someone else to get what you want so every night I was really happy really really happy for her because she's my friend and of course I love her and I'm happy if she's happy and I'm happy if she's achieving her goal so I was really being really happy and the weight just went off really fast really easy <laughs> so I thought like all my struggle and all my fighting and I just have to do this simple four steps and then <laughs> it was super easy and I didn't struggle I was happy enjoying it so I, I believe the four steps really did something yeah that's absolutely great that's absolutely great <laughs> Can you tell us also about a big challenge that you have overcome with the four steps or the seed system? So besides, uh, besides the weight issue that uh, you were experiencing, do you, can you think about another big obstacle that you have overcome by using the four steps? Okay, so I can think of the last year's event in 2019 we had the goal for 800 people and the venue and everything was set for 800 people but it was the first time for this year in mexico city and we started really late because we were in asia 
in a, in a tour. So we had a very little time to make all the production and all the event. And not a lot of people in Mexico know about DCI. So sometimes it was like difficult. I remember I was really stressed. I remember some days I was crying. Like, I don't know if I can make this possible. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if some people will show up to the event. Uh, we, we didn't sell a lot of tickets. Like one month before we had 100 tickets sold. Oh. So we were really like scared. Like what if only 100 people come? It's going to look empty. We are going to lose a lot of money. And like, it was challenging. And we were a little bit stressed. We were a little bit scared, but uh, at the end we said, okay, we know this system works, so let's just use the system to make the event successful. So I decided, okay, what's the goal? And for me, the main goal was to have a successful event and so more people can be able to know this, this wisdom that changed my life and can also help them in their lives. So my main, my main goal was to have people in the event to be able to learn this wisdom. So my, my goal was 800 people in the event. And <laughs> then I thought, okay, I need to help other, other events, other anything. So if one of my friends sent me a like a relationship seminar, I was like, okay, I, I'm going and I'm bringing my friends. And then I even went to a anti, anti-aging seminar. <laughs> because my friend was my friend was giving it and then I thought okay I I I don't need actually anti-aging but I'm going and I'm bringing my mom and I was like attending all the events (laughs) having the intention that people will come to the event we were organizing and every night I was really happy like really really happy for helping other people with their events promoting and sending to all of my friends and I was really being, being happy for helping others to have success. And I will even imagine like the day of the event, like I will close my eyes and imagine, okay, it's 4th of July and 800 people are there listening to these really great ideas to apply in their lives. And they are really happy and they are enjoying and having fun and learning something really cool. So in, in my meditation, I was doing this every night and like i I think like three or four days before the event people just were uh, calling and (laughs) asking questions and buying tickets (laughs) and it was like magic like a like a miracle like i remember the the producer was like trying to convince me to make it smaller like she was telling me we should make it smaller it's going to look empty and it's not going to be nice to have an empty room and I was like no 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 I trust in the system it's going to work I know I know it's going to work and I didn't allow to make it smaller (laughs) (laughs) but some days before uh, we sold the tickets (laughs) that's absolutely (laughs) amazing that was one of the struggles and but then success Mm mm-hmm Um, I would have uh, another question to which I already know the answer, but it's for the uh, benefit of our users, of viewers. Um, It's related to what you said about being happy every night and seeing yourself reaching the objective. Yeah, so uh, you were in a big room with 800 people, everybody was learning, etc. How is that different? How are the four steps different from let's say positive thinking or from uh, another very mainstream idea of law of attraction so what's uh, what's the difference between what we are doing and what we are teaching in our trainings the four steps and the other um the other techniques that are on the personal development market let's say Thank you. This is a really good question. Uh, I think the difference is be- that not only by thinking positive, you will achieve something. You have to 
plant the seeds. You have to make, take action. And not only wish, because you can stay home and wish and wish and wish, but it, that doesn't mean it's going to happen. But you have to go out. And for example, I was, I was making a plan, like setting a goal, making a plan, going out, going out there and do whatever it takes, put some action. And especially I was helping someone else, promoting other people events, um, attending other people events. And so it requires action. If you take action, then our mind is like a recording, like a camera, and it's recording everything. So everything we think, say, and do is in our mind. So I think that's the difference between just thinking positive and also acting and, and putting some action into it. Like, um, I think that will be the main difference. Of course, we have to be positive and want to achieve our goals, but we only also have to put some action and go out there and help someone and meet someone and put the seeds in our minds. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I, I would like to make a little uh, clarification that would summarize uh, both your stories. So the first steps are, first of all, you need to know what you want. In this case, we, uh, we talked about uh, losing uh, 15 kilos and also having a successful event of 800 persons. Yeah, so this is the first step. The second step is to choose somebody to help uh, somebody who wants the same thing. So in your case, it was your friend who also wanted to, to lose some weight. And also for the event, you were going to other people's event and you were also taking your mother or your friends. Yeah, so you were generating participants to other organizers, yeah? Um, the third step is to actually do it. So in the second step, you are choosing the person that we, you are helping, yeah? And you make a plan to help that person. And in the third step, you are actually doing it. You are going to the event, you are taking your friend for a walk or a jog, yeah? And the fourth step is the happiness, the constant and frequent happiness uh, with which we are thinking about the good things that we have done. Yeah, so it's not uh, only an uh, imagination exercise of how uh, the objective would feel like, the achieved objective would feel like, but is the happiness of our good deeds, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so I, I wanted uh, I wanted to wrap it up um, uh, to to draw the fine lines uh, uh, between between your stories for Thank for you. better clarity. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end uh, of this uh, four steps coffee talk, can you share with us what is your life vision and how does the four steps and the diamond cutter system? fit into that life vision that you have? Okay, so since I first learned about this system, I thought if we all help each other to achieve our dreams and our goals, this will be a happier world. Like no fighting, no, comp no competition, no war. So since the beginning, I thought all the Mexicans have to know this. Everyone needs to know this because they can be happier, healthier, have better relationships. And that was my, my first thought. Like, I want all the people to know this, this system to be more happy and to be more successful. So I think the DCI system can really help people to achieve their dreams, achieve, achieve their goals, and helping someone else. So I think it's good for all. Like, it benefits us all as citizens and as humans. So I think that's my, my dream and my vision for, for to share this wisdom with a lot of people so they can also be su successful and happier in their lives. Mm -hmm. now, now I am thinking, I just remembered about, you know, there were, I never watched the beauty contests. 
but there were some, uh, I saw some movies about beauty contests and at the end it was always that question, what do you want or your biggest dream? And uh, that the beauty contestant was saying, uh, peace in the world. <laughs> yeah, I want world <laughs> peace. <laughs> and uh, I just remember that from a comedy that I saw, that I saw recently, a comedy with Sandra Bullock. And basically, this is, uh, this is what, what we want, because world peace, this is the life vision, yeah? World peace is being healthier, is uh, having enough money to live how you want, is having good relationships in your life, having a peaceful mind, so it's uh, peace in your neighborhood and also between countries. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really beautiful. It's really, really beautiful and uh, inspiring. And a utopy, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's possible if we are, we change our mind and instead of fighting, we are just helping each other, I think that will bring us more peace and more happiness. Yeah, yeah. And it's very relevant to the situation that we are living right now when we are recording this coffee talk because uh, we are in the lockdown, in a lockdown in uh, 2000, beginning of, of 2020. And somehow, uh, even if we are separated, I see how people are... Uh, coming together and it's really um, and people are uh, helping each other a lot and um, it's a really nice feeling do you do you experience that also do you see people coming together while they are in lockdown i think so at the beginning i was seeing both ways like some people more selfish trying to keep their things like, you know, buying toilet paper. But now I can see more people sharing and more people caring a lot of, a lot of projects to support people who don't have enough money. So I think it's, it's changing and more people are willing to help and to support. And I've seen beautiful stories like people donating masks and food and giving things to other people. So I think it's, it's, Oh, it's transforming to something to something more kind yeah yeah slowly slowly i think that slowly we can see the life vision unfolding yeah it's uh, it's really really interesting okay. okay thank you very much fernanda for this very inspiring talk uh, i am very happy that i learned how you have uh, improved uh, a relationship that seemed gone yeah that's really really interesting and uh, also how uh, you have applied the four steps in order to have a more a healthier body and uh, also in business in business and an, an event with 800 people it's amazing so you should uh, uh, teach as many people as possible how to do this kind of events <laughs> by helping other organizers that's really really cool by helping other organizers okay thank you very much and see you in the next episode bye